is Ro Rosa. How is that spelled? R O S A. Rosa. And the last name? Guarino. It's G U A R I N O. G U A R I N O. And you are Maria. Maria M A R I A. Leone. L E O N E. And you two are sisters in law. Sister in law. Move in. So she's my, aunt. my brother's wife. <laughs> My aunt made the cookies, by the way. And you are Francesca. And, right. And would you spell that, please? F-R-A-N-C-E-S-C-A. C-A. Right. And what's the last name? Leone. L-E-O-N-E. And you are? Her, no. her daughter. daughter. Yeah. She, she's my mother. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she, she informed me a couple weeks ago. Boy, you're going to be 60 years old. Don't you feel old? And I said, shut up. <laughs> well, now, wait a minute. I turned 60 last year. Yeah. <laughs> so I think you just irritated me. Well, I was 61 yeah. on Monday. I'll be, oh. right, I'll be 76 <laughs> next month. Really? Yeah, there you go. the first. 76 years old. Now, did you two know it? I gather you two knew each other in, no. in Sicily? No. You did not? No. I came over here. 1950. She came on the boat. I came on the boat. I was 11 days on the boat. I was 20 pounds. <laughs> pregnant with me. Pregnant with Francis. I landed in, the, in New York. It'll be 60 years ago, the 19th of June. And then you had her really quick there after you died. I came in June and I in September. And you've been seasick all your life? Oh, I have bad mommy dad. My uncle used to call me the bad seed. And oh. a joke. I said, ah, oh, funny, funny. <laughs> Why did you come over here? I got married. You then, got married back then? Yes. Then, years later, I bring my mother and my father here. That's my uncle. Hey, Uncle Phil. Uh, uncle Phil. Get to soon you. Uh, simple. Simple. Come in, Uncle Phil. Okay. Maybe stay the car. That's my brother. Your brother. Hi, Phil. Mm -hmm. Mark Titus. I'll never keep How you doing? Anyway, like I say, you know. Hello. Uncle Phil. Yeah. I'm Uncle Phil. So then you were the first one over. Right. Then, uh, years later, I decided to go. Stay the car. Stay the car. Then, you know, my, my mother was crying. You know, my mother, uh, she, the kids was over there. And, and I bring my young brothers over. Sponsor for him and everything, you know. Then years later, Philip, are you okay? Then years later, I bring my brother, my sister-in-law, and three kids. Oh, that's her husband. Yeah, that's my brother. Yeah. Then years later again, I bring my sister, her husband, and four kids. They were starving in Sicily, my mom, before she came here. It was really bad. They, they, when I came over here, no, just say it. I said that. They, they, they got a chair of friends. Things, that's okay. The things was way, way bad when it's I came to the United States in 1950. Is that why you came? Because they yes. were bad? Yes. Well, now everything is beautiful then. Uh, beautiful. Now, your husband was already here? Yes. Why did he come over? Just to... Uh, to on vacation. vacation. On vacation. He came on vacation, we got married, we come back to the United States. He and came to the United we, States first. And then, and then we, got, uh, we was married over there in Sicily. Oh, he was an, he was an American. But he was don't from know. Italian. He's from Sicily. He, he was from Sicily. He came here when he was 19. Then went back, met my mother. Okay, sit down, Filippo. Okay. I see. I'm going to have to put Sicily. Well, that's a great life story if we could ever get sit down. all those names straight. <laughs> And oh, anyway, this is the story, all my family here, to me. Well, that's great. Now, is your husband still with us? Oh, no. He's passed on? Yeah, a long time ago, yes. Okay. Then then I got married again, and my husband died too, and I'm by myself again. No, no, no. no. You have a whole bunch of people here. Yeah, I got my sister, my, my, my brother's We're going to have a family reunion, 156 people. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Aren't many people coming from... Um, Sicily for that? Oh no, no just oh, they're just all here. Cousin, you kid, no, nobody <laughs> want to come here on it. They're not going to spend. It. They have it made over there. That money it's, on it. it's a lot different than do, my they parents' do time. They do great over there, John. Well, oh, things are better now. Oh my God, yes. I went, I went back here two years ago. I was there two months. Beautiful. 
Well, I think it's doing pretty well overall, aren't they? Everybody yeah. complain. I don't understand this, uh -huh. but like I said, what I saw a couple weeks ago, everything was great. Well, My mom uh, was there during World War II. They won the work over there with people my age. They never did work, but the young people they do work now. When they find a job, John, she remembers when she was in fifth grade, Mussolini went to her school. Really? Yes, yeah, I saw him. Yes. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, you saw him. That's scary. That. Yeah. I remember, that. I remember things when I was two years old, John. That's amazing. Yeah, a long time. Did you like him? I don't know. I was, I was just a kid. I don't know nothing about was just a kid. kid. No. You just knew he was an important That's guy. all. So, well, yeah. she's told me that when he came in, everybody was scared. Everybody was We quiet. said nothing, you know. Yeah. We knew who he was, but, you know, we didn't know much about it, you know. We just was children. Huh. Well, that's right. Really when, nice. we, when we went to school, we had a black uniform, white collar in those days, you know. Well, are we about ready to start asking you some questions? Okay. Let me hear. Um, when we get going, maybe just the three of us will talk. Okay. I know all these people would like to chime in, including several, but we're going to try and keep you them all quiet. You know chime in? <coughs> no. Mythicism. Mythicism. I'm ready. I'm ready. Just ignore that. Welcome to another interview for the Kansas City Garment Industry Project. Today is May 24th, 2010. I'm John Dvorak, and I'm interviewing Rosa Garino, yes. who worked for many years in the Kansas City Garment Industry after coming here from Sicily. Helping with translation is her sister-in-law, Maria Leone. The videographer is Mark Titus. Rosa. <laughs> Tell us why you came to the United States. Well, before they, they want to come, because they don't ever work with that. And this, my sister-in-law here, they said they come here, they have a good life. We come here, but, but then we come for all the family, you know, for the whole family. So, and. Uh, my mother-in-law said, hey, my father-in-law, everybody, so, all the family. So I used to want to come here. I don't got nobody here, I'm by myself. But I used to want to come here to some family, and we come here. Then when we come here, we don't like it. We want to go back. We want to go back. We cry. You used to cry every night. Every night, we want to go back. We want to go back. And uh, my mother-in-law said, no, you're not going back, you're not going back. And then uh, my sister-in-law or some friend come and said, no worry, then you will be fine and everything. And then uh, my sister-in-law said, you know what you do? You're going to work. We say, you're going to do better, you know, so you're working. So I don't work, never work in my life. What did you do back in Sicily? Oh, nothing. You just to stay home. I went no, to no. kids. Well, they came, they came from Sicily. Yeah, Are they're the same thing. Right? No, no, it's not. No, it's not. Uh, I lived 10 years in France. That's what I mean. See, in Sicily, in those days, the things were too, poor, too bad, too poor. When my brother he decided to take his farm and they went to France. And they, they, they was there 10 years. They came from France. I got two, two kids born, born over in, in Sicily. In France. Yeah, I mean, in France, yeah. French. So you actually came here from France? Yes. You see, once they got there, France, my brother was work on, and they was doing okay. You know. I don't know if it worked. She didn't have to work nothing, but they just came home. over here because my mother, God bless her soul, you know, nature, she wants her son here and his wife. That's how they came here. Were you in Sicily during World War II? Yes. Yes. But <laughs> was it very difficult for you during World well, War II? Well, yeah, still say young. You know, when they hung, they don't ever really, really she was young. You know, 20, 22 years, 25 years old, you know. Everything is going to be fine because that's the way they're going to do. So we don't ever really. We, then they want to we, stay we were young French. then. When it was the war. We stayed 10 years in the French, they do better than the Sicily. 
Well, they so, was do great over there. So, what did you think of Kansas City when you got here? Well, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it, Frosty, because uh, they have everything uh, different. They have everything uh, different. So mm -hmm. then the language, we don't understand nothing. You know, uh, that's uh, really, really hard. Did you have to work? Or did you have to get a job when you came to Kansas City? Oh, yes, yeah. sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. To earn money? Every right? three months I am here, she said, Come on, I think you're in a factory and you're going to work. So you feel better, she said, so you're going to. So I thought, she take me over there. Oh, well, I, no, wait a minute, Rosetta. I didn't do it the first time. The first time you start your work with a woman, the, the one she wants money every, every week from you, remember? Yeah, that? you're taking me, Milena. You're taking uh, well, me, oh, Milena. Oh, I took you there? Yeah, uh, you're taking me, yeah. Okay, she started, she started your work in this factory. So okay. where did you, what factory was this? Uh, this is a cornet before it's a cornet. 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 Yeah. cornet. I, stay, I, was, I work over there for six months. Over there. My dear people so mean to me and you can believe it because I said, you took my work, you took my work, yeah. Don't have to do this. But I was jealous. Yeah, I was very jealous because I, I'm going to work. Uh, uh, and then, uh, that, that, that. Uh, then what happened then, uh, the, the, the boss, boss, she was giving everybody work. But well, she didn't give nothing to her. She couldn't figure out why. She said, I come here, I come here, she don't give it to me work. And some woman, they've been there for a long time. Yeah, I mean, she said. They asked her, they said, do you give her so much week? Of course, she was new, she, she said, well, I said, no, honor, she no. Said, no. She said, better you give me some money that check to you. Every work. week. Every week. What yeah. kind of work did you do for Cornette? A cornetta, I saw the cord in the coat. Cornet. She saw, she put a four in the coat. Four in the coat. The four. The, the cord. You know, the cord of the coat. The cord of the mink coat. Did you, did you sew? Yeah. Yeah, I saw the, this. Uh, did you know how to do that or did they train you? No, they trained me. They, we could never even work. They trained me really, really good, you know. Then after six months, they don't have uh, no more work in the cornet. They're giving me off. No, 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 you're wrong. Or what am I wrong? Why am I wrong? Okay, all right. Okay. They're giving me off. I stayed three months at home. Are you taking me in the better Rose factory? I took, I took a two bed Rose Cut factory. Uh, Let, let's get Coronet resolved first. How long did you work at Coronet? Six months. About six months? Yeah. Where was that located? You know where it was located? It was uh, downtown. Uh, Along Broad near Broadway? Yes. Yeah. Broadway. Right near Broadway, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you didn't really like the work? No, I like the work. But but she didn't like the people. They don't like the people because they're mean it to me. Everybody was jealous. Everybody look at me because I, I took the work. She said, You took my work. Uh, she don't ever work for me, the boss. I give the work to you. And they tell me bad words, you know. I feel bad. So, Did you not speak English at that no, time? No, no. Was that a problem? Did they? Well, they have a lot of Italian over there too. They work. So they, most, they, most, they, of most of them. They were Italian. Or Italian. Most people. of them. Most of the workers at Coronet were Italian. Italian right. people. Most yeah. of them. Yeah. So they have some nice people uh, that took care of me. Uh, they tell me what uh, what happened with uh, these people mean. So. Then the have six demands and I'm never going to work. And then we stay home. They're giving me employment to fit the seven a week, the employment. You made $57 a week? No, for see, when she was in the office. So we, we, well, over there they're giving me $1.16 an hour. An hour. Per hour. Dollar an hour per hour. Dollar is a sound. One sixty per hour. One one hundred sixty dollars. No, one sixty an hour. Oh, oh. That's what you were. That's yeah. what I used to make. Then when I got off, they gave me fifty-seven dollar a week. Week. I see. Okay. I stayed three months at home, and then she take me in the Natural factory, Better Rose factory, Better Rose factory. I took over there. Where was that located? Uh, Tory Frost Street. About 31st and uh, Linwood or? Yeah, 
And you got a job there. And I got a job there. I worked 13 years over there. 13 years. Yeah. Well, see what happened. Really, I took really her there. Yeah. And the woman, the manager, her name was Mary Jane. I remember like it was nine, you know, and I explained the condition. I said, my sister-in-law, she was new in this kind of work, you know. I said, she didn't know she had to give me this woman the money a week. No, over there, you that, no that's, better closing. That's what you call a blackmail, hmm. yeah. you know. Anyway, and I, I told her, I said, she doesn't speak English. I told the truth, you know what I mean? And she started to work in there, and she, and she retired from there. No, what? she closed the factory. Yeah, they, they closed the place. The place, I must say. For the sake of the, it is the old and the factory closed. She was 46 years old when they closed the place. What type of work did you do for them? Oh, I do the, the coal, I do buttons on the coat. She done buttons, buttons. so buttons. Yeah, so floor. Floor for, for, for the coat. I, yeah, pick it up in the, in the coat, you know. Did you like the work? Oh yeah, I like the work, I like it. And then I like the people say better than the better jobs, you know. The, the people in the office say all the time I mean. Say all the time I mean, I bet everybody. But the people that are in my work is better, you know, it's really nice people. The people that did the kind of work you did right, were really nice. right. they, they, they were nice people, yeah. yeah. Were they Italian or what Italian, were they? Italian, yeah. They have Italian, they have Spanish, and they have English, they have all the kinds. All the kinds <laughs> mixed. Did you all get along? Oh, yeah. I got a friend and everything. We gonna eat lunch together and everything. They've been nice, yeah, nice, really nice. Did you make a pretty good wage at the factory? Yeah, just to, the last time I when I finished, they paid me seven dollar an hour. At a little, at time, you know, so take good money. Seven dollars an hour. Seven dollar an hour, you know. Was money that average? That was that pretty average. good. No, you was a piece of buns too. Piece of buns. Depends on how, how much you, you was making. Yeah, piece of work. Yeah, yeah, piece yeah, work. yeah, piece of work. That's a piece of work. My woman did do a horror, she paid him seventy dollars a horror because of my average is said good, you know. A lower, you know. This in, the, in those days, yeah. In those days, I take good pay. So I do pretty good. Then the cross, I don't go no more, no place. Now, what year would it have been that you would have gone to work at Betty Rose? When we were going to work? What, what year was? Um, I think, okay, come, we know, se, se, Sandra <coughs> said, se, 68. Yeah. Se, the 68. Uh, About 1968. Yes. And you were there 13 years. 13 years, yes. So you must have liked sewing. Yeah. Or lucky or not, I lucky money. <laughs> you know, they, they buy the house. What are you going to do? We buy the house, uh, I got the three kids. Uh, I think she sewed so so by hand, John. Yeah, they yeah. sewed so by, by, by hand. Come on, Philly. Come on. Did you. Was that the only kind of work you felt you could do? Or. Why did you they, get into sewing? They show a house. Uh, well, she never saw sure. before. I don't ever saw she before. didn't know nothing about, about any other kind but of work. I have a little bit, uh, you know, in the cornet. I got a little bit. Uh, she learned over there in the cornet. She 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 and then I go over there. Then uh, Sunday I put the button on you stand up. Stand, stand up, up all day long. And the coat come like this. And the sew button. All day long stand up. They're not too really, really good, you know. But stay tired every night, you know. Stay happy all the day long. Eight all I, day. I hope they gave you breaks every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> well, they got them Saturday and Sunday. I'm going to wash your clothes, arm your clothes, I got the kids, I clean the house. Oh, yeah, that was their break. Really, really. <laughs> yeah. You had children? Three. Like she had three children. Three children. Two boys and one girl. So you were raising three children? Yes. Yeah. When we come here, the first one I got 11 years old. It was. Seven years old, and What's one it? year is old. Um, did you uh, get to really enjoy the work? You you had not sewed before, but did you get to where you really You know what, I'm going to tell you the truth. I make nervous because I didn't make a piece of work. It was, it was a piece of work. How much you make, you pay. How much you do. You more you do, more they give you money. 
Oh, the they used to do fast, you know, trying to do fast, you know, to make more money. Oh my gosh, that's, that's terrible. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> because I never had done that. 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 And then we come to the ticket, you know, I'm going to make it every day. And then they write it. You were creating a coat out of nothing. Did you take pride in that? Did you and your fellow workers like doing that? Well, and the BSG has because Like I say, she didn't have a choice. Yeah, they don't have a choice. We're making money. If it's your life or not. We're making money. You know, they, they want to buy a house, and they, they want to, you know, if the kids were support, you know, she done the best she could. But she never saw before. It's a true act for me, because when you never, uh, then I told you four years, you're going to work, I got the kids, I got a house, I got a husband, I took care of everything. It's really, really hard. There were a lot of garment companies in Kansas City uh, at that time. Did you know about that or did you just sort of go to work and do your business? No, but I didn't know then, yeah, you know what I mean? I See, because that. I never did work before, I was not familiar with the work and yeah. I saw, you know? But, like I said, the, this woman over here, she was a neighbor when she was, uh, was working coronet and I took over there. I told my, my sister she would like to go work, you know. And she started she started working there. Then from there, like she said, six months, and then she went to but another they, place. They and, learn, yeah. And that's no, they, they show us they the teach you. They, they teach me really, they, they teach really you nice. Me. They gotta teach you, they, they teach everybody because uh, we got a lot of people they, in Sicily, they come and never gonna work. No, in those days, the women, they, they did not work in the yeah. place. Yeah. Were most of the people at the factory women, or were there some women, men? Yeah, that's women. Yeah, but it was no lot. guys, no guys, no men. Well, the guys they don't work with us. So they go and cut the the stuff. I don't they, know. They, they cut the material. They cut the, the, the material. The men. The men. The men did yeah, the cutting. Yeah, they cut the, the, the material. Yeah. Now, who was your boss? Was it like the owner of the company, or? Well, they got a lot of boss. They got a boss for the so the bottom. Then they got a boss for the so the floor. I got a lot of boss. They they have a boss for go, the machine and everything. Every every uh, thing they do, they got one boss. They, they, I got a boss for me for the so the bottom. Uh, I got another boss for go so the floor. The floor. They they still the floor here. Was your boss a nice yes. man? It was, it was a woman. They grow, no, they grow. They grow. woman. Yeah, woman. It's yeah, a woman. A woman yeah. What was your boss, a nice woman? Sandai. Sandai means. Sandai means. Sandai means. But when you, you know, do the good job, they mean the shop. That's natural. But she means so. some nice people there. But they're, they're nice people. They were friends yeah. for years and years. Yeah. Do you know who owned the company? Well, they call it Piro in the. Uh, the name about or no, the last name and they got a Piro and Mary Jane said Teddy Frost the big boss in the office. Mary Jane she was said in the office. That's the one that she gave her. Mary job. Jane and Piro said yeah. the man. I, I never did meet Piro. But yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a nice. He's a he really was, nice. No Mary nice. Jane. But he's a really nice. Piro they call it. He was man. nice. Did you ever talk to them much? She couldn't talk to them. No, she couldn't talk to them. But she talk to them. <laughs> No, no, they didn't talk to you. No, <laughs> no, they they be shot. They, they come like this. <laughs> now, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> they're big they're not talk about, about the big shot. Huh? Yeah. They're big they're big shot. shot. <laughs> they didn't talk to to the workers. No, 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 no. What happened at the end? You said they closed the factory about thirteen years after you. Yeah, they closed. Yeah. They, they, they send them on vacation, we got a two week vacation, and then when we go back, everything is gone. Shut down? Yeah. Shut down. But all, all the they paid for your vacation? Yeah. yeah. And when you came back to work, yeah. no work? No work. Okay. And they said they're going to put a factory in China. 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 Yeah. No. 
in, in China? China. They're going to put all, all, all the fat in China, in China now. In China, because they shame, pay the people mm, uh, uh, less. Everything they pay yeah. the more. Uh, yeah. Everything we buy now, they come from China. Did you know the company was in trouble and might close? Yeah, yeah. We, we imagination because they, the work is going to be less, less, they, less. They, they, they were thinking about it because the work was going to be less every yeah, day. Yeah. Less. And when they go on vacation, we, uh, we imagine they close. But they don't believe it because they have about 500 people that work in this factory. Really, really big and bigger factory. 500 people? 500 people that work over there. Did they, did they begin to get rid of people towards the end, or did it just all collapse one day? No, it just closed in one day. The, they, the, they did cut back the workforce? No, 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 no. Yeah, they, yes. Like, like she said, they yeah. used to give less of work. Yeah, yeah less of work. Sometimes uh, 12 o'clock, then I never no more work to send me home. Yeah, they, they, clock, they, they, clock, oh, they, they knew it was a problem. But they got a problem. They could have seen that it was a problem. Uh, they shortened the hours. Right, shortened right. the hours and shortened yeah. the work too. So you didn't make as much money when no. your hours were short. No, no. How did you feel about that? Did you sort of it see went, trouble coming? I tell you the truth, they, they give you all the employment for 13 years and send me check a home really good money before it. They close, you know. They give you all employment, or they send the check every week. Every week they send the check home. The employment. How, how long did you get there? Me, I think uh, about six months. The employment. She got, employment. They send the check got every week. Every six week. months. Every work a little bit, and then they send the check because I got a, a lot of employment. They got a lot of money because I've been working for ten years. And they saw the employment, they send them the money, all this money they get in the employment, they send it to everybody, not for me. Were you sad when the company closed? Well, not really, because uh, the house is still is a pay. My husband and work a cut and they make a good money. Or, or house was already paid for. And my brother, uh, uh, he, he had a good job, and my brother. He still have a good job, but make carpenter. a good money. The kids, uh, you go now up, uh, they got a the kids was, it, was, was you know, all the so kids, you know, it was not a you know, really, story. Really. So I'm not going to go and look for a job, but because they don't, the factory is closed, all the factory. All the, all the factory closed? All the closed, the factory. So we were not going to go. I'm not going to no place. You knew that the other factories in town were closing. Oh, yeah, yeah. It would be very difficult to get yeah, a job there. Yeah. So what did you do? Did you get a, a different kind of job? or? Yeah, I worked a little bit in the school, in some school, and this, uh, how's it called? Gaffer School? No, in the Bishop. Oh, uh, it's church, daycare. In the church. Daycare, daycare. 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 She was I worked over there for four hours in the morning, then I come home, make a little bit of money. You never worked in the garment business again? No, no. 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 Who owned did, did Betty you, Rose? Did you keep with sewing? Western, no. Sweatman and Prince? No more, no. Or Brand? Do you <coughs> even uh, sew? So? No. I don't think she knows, honey. I don't think she knows. <coughs> oh, you don't? I don't think she does. No, yeah. no, no. I ju when, I went, when I went over there, I took over there. I spoke to, to, to the manager. But I don't know who owned the place. Couldn't tell you then, honey. You said the. They moved the factory to China. Yeah, they tell it for all it practical purposes. Yeah. Everything went to China. No. How, how did you feel about that? Did you? Well, we feel bad because uh, we don't have no more work. <laughs> My tell her, say you got a chance. Uh, they give him a work. You call the house and we come and work. Uh, you know, any time. He said make some uh, little factory still in the Kansas City. But they don't do. The she woman, said, excuse yeah. me, the woman, they knew how to sewing. They went to the stores, you know, to do finish work. Or all. Uh, but right. see, Taylor. what she was doing, it would have been impossible to, for, to get another job, to etch a sewing. Hmm. I know, I know, I know, cousin of mine, she died. She was, I mean, she could make a suit for you, she could make, 
And she, she got a job. Yeah, that's you a good job. Another woman I know, she we came from the same home town, the same way too. But seeing her condition, saying that she never saw do before, this. she she couldn't do that kind of work. You know, she just she didn't no choice to stay home with then and take care of family. Today, most of our clothes are made in China or a few other countries overseas. Almost nothing is made in the Fantastic. United States. Yeah. Do you not? Do you dislike that, or is that just? I don't like that. No, I don't like that because all the time you're gonna buy things more in China, more in China, more than that. Never in the, in the Estados Unidos, you know. In the United States. So they're not good for us. See, the people used to come here, John, a long time ago. Yeah. You know, gonna work with they everybody. Job, work. They, they went to work, you know, they buy houses, you know, you know, but I mean but now if somebody would have come here now, it would have been nothing to do. Are the coats that you buy today as good as the coats that your company made back in the sixties well, and seventies? I don't know really. Depends what depends you depends on what what you got. But they don't even no more coat I like we make in the factory. Never saw the coat bill, I like it, we make in the factory, never saw in the store. That was a good coat? Right, that is a good coat, the good, the good steel, the good size, what is this? Style? Style. Style. Nice style and everything. But now that everything is changed, I don't have no more of this coat. You just don't think it's quite as good a coat today? <laughs> no. <laughs> either, the clo either are clothes. Yeah. Everything change. When did you retire for good? What year? Oh, uh, I don't remember. I think it. Funny, I I think it. Fifty-six years old. She was fifty-six when she retired. Well, she didn't die. Actually, yeah, actually, they cause a fatter. Well, no, I meant no, retired they, completely. No, 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 no. It's the public and the bishop. Yeah, yeah, we are not kidding. She was about fifty-six years old. Then. Have you enjoyed life in retirement? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> I do my work at home and everything. She made a lot of cookies. Advice. She made a lot of make a any kind of cookies and bread and everything. You know. Take care of some of these younger people. I tell you, she, she, got, she got a big job to take care of my brother. Now, <laughs> but before you know. Yeah, now my, my, my brother, poor guy, is sick, and she take What kind of work did Philip do? Carpent. He Carpentry. Was, he, was, he was one of the yeah. best carpent, and my brother. Oh yeah, he was really good. Did you ever become a U.S. citizen? Yeah, every day. After the five years, five years, five years, I'm here. We're gonna see us. You became a citizen. Sí. Were a lot of people. Yeah, I make a two kids. Come and see this. I draw a Benelli fish series. That's in the fish. Oh, two together. children. They were minor. They know. And they came to see them see together. I see. Were a lot of people in the garment industry immigrants like yourself? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, mostly. Mostly, yeah. Mostly. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I, that's all the questions I have for you. Thank you. I've enjoyed... Uh, because I never did work, talking. but I took people to work there, but I never did work. Well, why did you pick the garment industry for her? <laughs> well, like I say, you know, because of my, the neighbor, she was, she was here, and I know what she was doing, and she was speaking Italian, and I figured she probably could help her. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? Uh, she know was actually uh, capable to do nothing else besides this. I don't know if she, she could do that or not, but she learned, you know what I mean? First the language, everything, you know. She never saw before in her life. Mm -hmm. But you never had any connection to the industry yourself? No, no. Send the factory no close. I'm a retired 65 years old, but the factory close, we can do more nothing. What are you going to do? I had eight children, John. I, I had a lot of work on with eight children. You had eight children already? I had eight children. I got seven now. And you, so you weren't able to go out and work? No, no I never. You had to stay home? Right. Well, I never did need to go work. Well, did you take care of Rosa's children too? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Why she went to work? Yes, yes. My son is sick. He's taking care of my son every day, every day. She <laughs> never, she never took once her kids to the doctor. Yeah. But you always took the kids oh, to the yeah. doctor. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, back then they couldn't. Speak. By the way, the interview is over. No, it's still going. Oh. Um, <laughs> my mom had to take them to the doctors all the time because of the language. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. yeah. In first place, she was she was working. Right. Uh, she right. had to go from work. In second place, she didn't know the ways. You know, she couldn't speak. You know, naturally, you know the kids are sick. She... How come your English is so good? I've been, here she comes I've been here a long time. You came in 1950. Oh, right. Right. You mean you can understand her? I grew up in a house where they'd say, "Open the light." <laughs> <laughs> And anyway, she's young, she's like 16 years like old. I say, she's the young. 19 when next she month. The long face. The 19th June, I land in New York, 60 years ago. See? 60 years ago on the 19th of June, did you have to go through Ellis Island? Yes, she did. Yeah, yeah. I, I came on the, the boat. The big long lines and of I everybody. Stopped, I stopped in New York, mm -hmm. which I met my family there. My father, he had a brother there and his kids and I meet them there and I was at one week then after a week I came straight in Kansas City. Now who was here in Kansas City already? My, my husband. Your husband was here. Now he is a Sicilian. Right. But he came to America because he came to America and before you. Yes oh. he came in. But you were only 16 yeah. years old. I came over here as, uh, How old was your husband? He was six years old. Sixty. Yes. Right. Yes. Oh my goodness. Right. <laughs> right. It was and, a marriage of convenience. And what did he do for a living? Well, he was. He should retire after this thing. Yeah. He, he, he had a restaurant. He was ice man. He was. He done. He done. He done yeah. everything. But in he had he made money in Sicily. No. Oh, no. 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 That's why he came to United he came, States. He, he came over here when he was seventeen years old. Seventeen. He, he was just young boy when he came in. Oh, okay. Then he came over there. We got married, and 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 I came over here. Seven. Did you uh, <laughs> speak any English at all when you came to America? No. I didn't, I didn't either. No, 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 no. Did you ever take lessons? No. Did, Did you study, study English? Study English. Study yeah, we're going to school, night school. For night learning, school? if we're going to pick it up in the paper. Yeah. She went to school to become a senior in Einstein. Right. And they pick it up some words, you know. And then I work, they got uh, some people to talk English. Uh, uh, she picked up a few words. Yeah. It is few. is it English is still difficult for you? Oh yeah, yeah. Sometimes I correct a lot of times. Yeah, but, but she could speak French too. Oh right, you well, lived in no. France. Where? No. She forgot. Where in France did you live? Uh, by Marseille. In by Marseille in the yeah, south. The sud. Right. <laughs> Do you still speak Italian? Oh, around, yeah. around the home and everything. That's the problem. Yeah. Every time yeah. I come here, the donut pick it out. The donut TV is always in Italian. I say, change that damn thing. Well, well, now, well, don't, it. don't you speak it? Sici yes, Sicilian and Italian are different. Are they? Are they? Are they? You don't. You don't like to. No. That's funny. She don't like it no more. Well, she don't like speak Italian. She don't like She's speaking. more American Americanized. Yeah, all mm -hmm. right. Like I say, you know, some of those big Italian words, you know, I quite don't understand them no more. The big Italian words you yeah. don't understand. <laughs> you no, know, what's happened? The Sicilian language. There's no books. Am I correct? Right. And now the Sicilians that go to school today are learning the real Italian language, Italian. from what I understand. I mean, I understand quite a bit. They weren't the wrong, but Sicilians. Did it's that a dialect. Kind of the Sicilian language you know? is a dialect. Uh, you mean sort of like people in the, the southern United States have a right. difficult yes. accent? To right. Yes. Or maybe it's more like. Quebec French and Parisian French, or Castilian I, Spanish, or Mexican the food Spanish. Too, you know? Yeah, they could have cooked good food. What do you speak? Food. English. <laughs> you, you don't no, know any English I, at all. I grew up. Or any Italian at all? Ah, uh, Sicilian. I can understand it better than speak it. I don't speak it as well as I should. All my kids, they just don't. Um, well, don't you go, know, don't when speak I, too much, the kids. What happened was when I went to school in first grade. They didn't put me in kindergarten. And I remember the teacher marching me home 
and she told my parents, stop speaking Italian in this house, this child is very confused. I was the oldest. Well, they didn't understand in those days, you know, if they would have let me go to kindergarten and learn the language. Well, when I got older and I went and saw my first grade teacher, she told me my sentence was half English and half Italian. I was really screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> so they stopped speaking Italian in the house for us kids. Well, see, the trouble was when I came to the United States. Yeah, but then I, I didn't no, speak. You don't only speak I Italian. I my kids didn't speak. So much so much 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 me. Yeah, That's my right. kids didn't speak it Italian really good. Really good. Sicilian, all, all of my life, put in here, you know. Well, it's funny to see the progression because your English sounds just like anybody I know. <laughs> and, and your English is good, but I can tell you have an accent, sure, and sure. it she is heavily accent. It's they never lose their accent. Did you have to join a union to work at the factory? Oh yeah. 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 What was the name of the union? Do you remember? Well, I got to check every week because I, I work for 13 years. You say, what was the name? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You had to pay dues to the union yeah. every week. Every, right. every you, month. You write a check to the... Every, they no, took the, the money out of your the check. The office, yeah. The office like the government. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now they send me totally seventy dollars a month. The it's union it's sends you thirty-seven dollars a month. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. Did you ever strike? Did you ever go on strike? Still? No. 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 Yeah, they they still send them thirty-seven dollars. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, all in my life. All in my life. How much? Thirty-seven dollars a month. Thirty-seven dollars a month. Thirty-seven dollars a month. Yeah. Long as long as you Yeah. 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 A, Does that come from Cheese the union? Yeah, yeah. yeah. only only because uh, I have ten years, but. Uh, some people got a twenty years and they gave a hundred dollar a month. See, if it was less than twenty know. years old, they get a thirty six. But see, if it was over twenty years, they give they, they give dollars a month. I see. Pension fund. Yeah. Right. Do you have any of the coats that you help that your company made? No. Did you wear them back when you were working for the company? Yeah, uh, but that's a long time ago. Did think. you get a discount? Did you buy from the factory, or did you have to go to a store to buy no, the clothes no, you made? No, they got the some in a they got a sale. Sometimes they have factory. In the factory, yeah, so you want to buy. They good. You make them. You make. No. She made those. She made those. She, she made you in those. Yeah, she didn't put no sugar on the top of it. <laughs> You know, they're, they're they're really sugar's bad, bad for you. Yeah, they, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> so, you want a coffee? Well, sure. You want a cup of coffee? Huh? Absolutely. What church? The coffee's here already. What church she belong to? What church? Uh, she go to Catholic Church. Catholic Church. Yeah. What church? What name of your church? San Antonio. San Antonio Church. And mm -hmm. is that close by here? To be yeah. honest, I am Presbyterian. Oh. You're a Presbyterian. Yes, I am. How did you? How did it do to become a Presbyterian? I never like it. it kept on church and said, 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 I began to understand. That's funny. Say, uh, Maria, can I get your date of birth, please? Six one thirty four. Six one thirty four. And you know Rosa's date of birth? No. Rosa? Should I tell you? No. I know she's seventy eight. That's a fine. Second, second May nineteen ninety two. Six what? May. March. May, 6th oh, March? May. May. Oh. It can be 6th, June 6th. May 6th, Maria. May. Oh, oh, May 6th. Yeah. 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 And I'm going to have one in a few days. You too. June 1st, you said, right? Jeez, I'll be 76 years uh, old. I hope that I'm in as good a shape as you are oh, in 16 God. years. <laughs> I'm going to turn the camera off. Are you about my age? 87. No, I think black, you 87? You want a shoe? No coffee. No coffee for me. No? No, no. no coffee for me. You want milk? No, black. No. Simple. I had no idea. You always look like a young chick to me. 
I act by the young chicken. <laughs> you want his okay. beer? No we... beer. I have to go to work. I've got another job. I gotta leave. If Do if we're done, I'm gonna turn off the camera. Okay. Are you gonna turn it off? If I if we're done, I'm gonna turn off the camera. Are we done? Let's ask them if there's anything else they want to tell us. No, no. No. no, Maria, Rosa, is there anything else you would like to tell us about no. your life in the garment industry in Kansas City? Well, my dad. Well, now they'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> they'll be fine. I got my kids. Everybody going good. Everybody they, doing good. They do good. Everybody working. I think I Success. I got three kids. I got it. Five grandkids, and I got two great grandkids. Uh, up on the wall, is this them up here on the refrigerator? Right, yeah. Ask me how many I got. Well, you had, you had, you've got seven <laughs> living children. How many great grand? How many grandchildren do you have? I got twenty. And how many great grandchildren? Twenty-two great grandchildren. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's wonderful. That's a big family. <laughs> and you're having the your family reunion. You said how many are coming? One hundred fifty-six. 156. Yeah. Where are you going to have it? Uh, Lake Pomona. Yeah. Lake Pomona. Yeah. Is that in Kansas? Yeah. Near Lawrence? I've never She's been yeah. there, but they you know, a lot of the sugar are familiar with the place. Uh, okay. but do Don't you know, sugar? when my dad came to the United States in 1909, yeah. he used to tell me if a woman showed her ankles Ooh. or wore red polish on her nails or red lipstick, she was considered a whore. Yeah. And then if a man took his shirt off in public, he was arrested. <laughs> if only it was true changed. today. Yeah. <laughs> now we're like, we're not going to go back in Sicily. No. no, back up no going. <laughs> back up going. No, thank you. But now you, you said you, you have nothing? been back to Sicily you know, quite a bit. I'm oh, fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I got a family. I got my, my father, my mother, and my sister. Now I don't even know where everybody died. I don't even know about it. Really no reason to go back. No, I can't go because I'm the older one. It's a, it's sick. I it can't go over there no more. But so I can't go. I got a nephew. I got a niece over there. You know, I got a family. But I don't ever no more see it there no more. My, bro my, my brother's in no condition to travel. He's in there. I have one more question. Yes. Did you have any feeling that you were part of a very important industry in the United States that helped the United States? Become a great country. Yeah, yeah, I, I can really. Do you met? You've had that identification with the industry. Yeah, now yes. Now yes. Yeah, now yes. <laughs> my, you know, because uh, we got the only family here. We got a radish here. <laughs> only my kids, you know. You know my what? Kids and everything. I like to go to visit. I like to go to visit. Mom, I like to stay. Well, no, yeah. In Italy. In Italy, mm -hmm. no. Okay. This, this is my country, honey. Me, I, when I went, I went to get lost and never come back. <laughs> <laughs> no, you come back. You in, stay a little bit over there, yeah. then you see. In you Italy, they have statues everywhere. Everywhere, it's beautiful. Okay, so let's close yeah. with that idea of that you were a part of a very important industry that helped Kansas City be great right. and helped the United States be great. Yes, right. yes. Yeah. yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Well, yes.